Did anyone call Father Tierney? Yeah. I talked to him. You always found comfort there, Tom. You talk to Mom? Yeah. I'll call her later today. Is she okay? Oh, I hated to tell her. She's strong. Yeah. All of us cut are strong. Got that uh, famous Irish resiliency. We're fighters. We'll be okay. Damn it! I've been a lousy father, okay? That is not true. Hell, I've never been around for her. You were a great father. You did everything you could. You loved Laura with everything you had. She knew her daddy's love it was one thing in this world that she could always count on, no matter what. I keep going over when it happened. I know. It's like a tape running in my head over and over and over. And if I could just erase it and start over, things would be different, Sean. You can't. It was just that one night. I mean, if only this alarm system hadn't gone off at the goalpost, or, or Barbara had, had taken her out for pizza like she was supposed to, if only I... You can't do this to yourself. She never should have been out in the street, Sean. I told her a thousand times never to set foot on Orchard Street. Laura knew better. Look, it is not your fault. You can't go back and change things. I copped out, all right? I let somebody else do my job. Look, it's not your fault. Barbara wasn't with her. Barbara let Laura cross the street by herself. It was murder. Murder, pure and simple. Oh, Phoebe, have you no compassion? Compassion? I do not have compassion for drunk drivers. How many Josh times? Josh Wilinski deserves to die for that crime. How many times have you sat behind the wheel when you shouldn't have? Are you defending him? No, certainly not, but I'm not passing judgment either. That poor boy has to live with himself. That should be enough. It's not our place to condemn him or ourselves. Now, what Brooke needs is our comfort, our support, and most of all, our love. And she will get it. But I still say that anyone who drives drunk should rot in hell. Well, uh, fortunately, it's not for you to say, Phoebe. What about, uh, people who let bad things happen? The Josh Walensky I know is not an alcoholic, nor is he a social degenerate. He's simply a young man who took a stupid chance and, yes, caused a tragedy. So you're saying it can just happen to anyone? Yeah. But Josh was not just anyone. He was a police officer. He had sworn to uphold the law, to, to, to protect innocent citizens. And how does he, does he do with that trust? He murders a little girl, an oh, innocent little Phoebe, child who's never done anything Phoebe. wrong. Don't say anything. Don't. I'm, I'm, I'm telling you that he has defiled the thing that this country holds most dear, and he's a beast, and I will never forgive him. Never, 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 never. Oh, wait, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. We have to get over to Brooke. Yeah. Shall we go? If you behave yourself, we will. Oh, Langley, please. Don't you know I love her as if she were my own daughter? Do you think I could do or say anything that would cause her distress? Then you promise. Of course, I swear. Of course. That's what I love about you, Phoebe. In the face of adversity, I think you are the strongest woman I ever knew. Thank you, Mother. Thank you. Cecily, you ready? Ah. Uh, uh, listen, uh, you two, uh, go on ahead. I just, I want to be alone a little while, okay? Well, are you all right? I'm fine. I'm just, I'll, I'll see you there later, okay? All right, okay. Yes, of course I came over, darling. Everything's all right. Mother's here. It's not Barbara's fault. I mean, 
Laura told her that it was all right for her to cross the street alone. It's nobody's fault, the drunk driver. Yeah. Blaming is useless, Tom. I'm not blaming, Sean. I'm just... I'm trying to understand. Why don't you talk to her? I will. But not now. Right now, I need to be with Brooke. You're holding it all inside, Tom. You don't understand. You've never had children. Neither has Barbara. She doesn't know. She couldn't know. Go easy on her. Go easy on yourself. I don't blame her. What are you doing here? Is Tom here? Get out. I need to see Tom. Okay. Can we talk? Excuse me, I'll be right back. Tom. Oh, you poor boy. I'm so sorry. Thank you for coming. Is Brooke upstairs? She's resting. She collapsed at the hospital, Adam, said she's doing much better. Okay. My deepest sympathy. Tom. Are you all right? Yeah. Yeah, I'm fine. Would you like to come sit with no, us? Okay. I brought some English trifle. It's, it's, a, it's a cake that Brooke likes very much. It's very kind of you, Mark. Thank you. I'll say. Mm. Won't you folks help yourself to any coffee or tea? <laughs> no, thanks. Is there anything we can do, Tom? No, thank you, Mark. Tom, Tom, if there's anything that I can do for you and Brooke, just, just to let me know, won't you? Thank you. You know, this uh, trifle thing that Mrs. Fargate made is delicious. You know, she used to make it for me and Will when we lived there. You want me to dish you up a bowl? No, I want you to leave me alone. Well, one itty bitty piece of trifle. I mean, I swear to you, Mr. Chandler, it's... You'll get through it, Tom. I did. You just learn how to lock out the dark thoughts and, and you go on. Um, can we talk? Well, why don't we... Uh, why don't we go back to the cottage? I... I know these people mean well, but let me help you through this, please. Please let me share this with you. Please. I don't think that anyone can help me right now. I can. I know I can. Just... Give me a chance. Please, I'll do anything you want. You don't... Phoebe? Brooke wants to see you. How is she? She needs to see Laura's father. She's asking for you. Thank you. Barbara, hmm. don't wait for me, okay? Okay. Look, I know that you're not comfortable, and I am sorry. I'll catch up with you later. I put up with your lover because of Brooke, but I want, uh, I want you out of here. It's your last warning. Get out. You can't make me leave. This is my house. You've destroyed both of my daughters. Now get out before I destroy you. I'm here for Tom's sake, Adam. Are you really? You think I'm blind? I've been watching you. Tom can't stand the sight of you. He loathes you as much as I do. 